I'm worried this next question is going to sound like how long's a piece of string, but how much olive oil is too much? I mean, my girlfriend gives me a hard time about how much olive oil I use. Okay, how much olive oil do you use? I probably use, I would say, I probably use about uh, half a litre to a litre a month. Half a litre to a litre a month? Yeah. I don't use any other fats and I don't eat a lot of meat. So it's the main source of oils, like of fat in my life. And it is a very healthy oil. Um, wow. So if you're, if you're cooking normally with olive oil, a couple of tablespoons per meal is perfectly healthy. The World Health Organization recommends that you limit the amount of total calories in your diet from fats to about a third, but some other countries and, and regions don't have the same recommendations. So a third of your calories from oil and mm. fats. Okay. Yeah, but don't, don't, get, don't get too bogged down in that. No, no. I knew, I knew you'd start thinking about that and your calculations would start. <laughs> no, because I mean... Don't, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Just use olive oil in a way that you feel comfortable. Okay. I'm, I'm, so, I'm someone who doesn't like to think a lot, okay? What am I... Okay. Tell, me, tell me what I should have in my cupboard. Great. Good question. So you only need two types of oil. Well, it's four. You only need two types of oil in your cupboard, all right? A good quality olive oil. Doesn't need to be expensive. Buy something Australian, buy something in a, in a larger container that's cheaper. The only time you don't use olive oil is for high temperature cooking. So searing a piece of meat, something on a barbecue or on a hot pan, olive oil is not the right oil in that uh, circumstance because it changes with high temperatures and becomes less healthy. So you want an oil with a much higher burning point like canola oil or sunflower oil that are still relatively healthy. So have canola oil and sunflower oil for frying, for shallow frying, and for searing at very high temperatures. Every other circumstance, use olive oil. And no, I don't have shares in an olive oil company. <laughs> but you're a talent. But I haven't shares, so I've got my daughter and really upset if I didn't say that. I was one of those people that got really sucked into the coconut oil fad, hard, yep. right? Only to realize that it's actually possibly one of the worst fats yeah. you can possibly have. The thing is, surely it has some benefits, right? Okay, so when it comes to fats, first of all, there are two main groups of cholesterol in your blood. Low density lipoproteins or LDLs and high density lipoproteins or HDLs. I know this is super nerdy, but let me get through it. An increase in the amount of LDLs in your blood will increase your risk of heart disease and a bunch of other things. An increase in HDLs will lower your risk of heart disease. So LDLs, bad, HDLs, good in broad terms. So then it's important to understand that there are three broad groups of fats in your diet, okay? Saturated fats, unsaturated fats, and trans fats. Now, coconut oil is very high in saturated fat. And saturated fat generally will increase your LDLs. The challenge with coconut oil and why there's been a bit of confusion is that when we look at trials, coconut oil actually increases the healthy cholesterol in your blood as well, more than we would have expected. Having said that, the evidence is not good enough that we would be suggesting that you consume large amounts of coconut oil. My recommendation as a doctor would be to stick to healthier forms of oils and keep uh, coconut oil for the occasional use, like when you're making a curry and you want that delicious like coconutty flavor in, in the dish, not as a staple daily oil. All right, this week, what do you want me to consider or do? You can upgrade yourself, ready, wait for it, wait for it, Motaz. Three oils. What? Yeah, so the same two that you had. Have a third bottle, which is a, a smaller bottle, which is a fresher olive oil. It will cost a little bit more and is really intensely flavored. And that's the one that you use for dressing things, for putting on your caprese salad, for impressing your friends when you when you serve dinner and you drizzle it at the table. My friends would be impressed if I could say the word caprese. <laughs> I used that perfectly. 
Lotaz, why don't you cook dinner for your friends, impress them with a caprese, and then, and then drizzle some olive oil at the table and tell me if it doesn't uh, totally blow their minds. Nice, I like, I'll get real crafty with the way I pour the oil. You're gonna need, what you're was gonna need that? to practice that. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't yeah, know. I'm, I don't know. I'm worried about how you pour olive oil now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lose a few friends after this dinner. I'll always come over, buddy, don't worry. Yeah, oh, thanks, mate. <laughs>